this right here. So you look to get, I know you mentioned that the pipe has about three feet of coverage on either side. Is that your basis for measuring out areas? Six foot? Well, this one, this one right here is drought tolerant, eight feet on center. Eight yeah. feet on center for yeah. drought tolerant. So the plume can, so one pipe can put out a 16 foot fan um, for drought tolerant. Uh, eight foot fan. Eight foot on either side? Four foot on either side. Four foot on either side. Yeah. That's where I was like, wow, three to, three to eight is a big jump. Okay. Yeah, so like off the, the sidewalk, will be, oh, the first one's like four feet, and then it's eight feet in between there. This would be like the next one. So one, two. And this is, a, this is kind of a call because it'll spread this far. So do I want to put another one, another two feet, or do I just leave it on those two right there? It's really, if you think about it, is that... So are you running them this way? Or are you, are you running them lengthwise? This way. You're right. Okay, I yeah. see. I see. So you always want to go wherever the slope of the land. So you can see how the slope's down. So because it slopes this way, you want to you want to run it perpendicular, perpendicular, perpendicular to the slope. And why is that? Because if you do it with the slope, what's going to happen is that you need to go one foot down. Hmm. So this slope is about a foot. So you'll be a foot down over there, but you'll be two feet down over here. So it'll be much deeper on this side than on that side. And that's because you got to keep the pipe level. Got to keep the pipe level nice and balanced. So that way it's not tilting in any particular direction. So, Joel, tentatively, this is what, what I, I've laid out so far. And that, another thing I want to point out, though, like, this is like a temporary mm -hmm. I'm, glad you're, I'm glad you're asking I don't, me to like, that. like, my wife and I are going to rethink the whole thing. Like, the point is here is, like, get water into the whole site, and then we can plan around, like, Having more water and doing. Okay. We, we might still do draw tile. Like, we like the look of like the shrubs and stuff, mm -hmm. but yeah, don't design your thing around this. Design whatever would be the best way to like yeah. give you water here. So, the, the, let me tell you what's going to happen if we design it and then there's one option you have to use, but two pipes in here or three pipes. And it's really how the water is going to flow. I love draw tile, but you're going to have plenty of. Kind of like, like that across the street. You know, like I like how it's like. Okay. Those are seemingly California friendly, but mm -hmm. you know they'll they'll thrive and they'll show more color with water. Yeah. So I would probably go then with with three pipes instead of two. The two pipes we always come with four feet off the, the curb. I mean off the sidewalk because it spreads four feet on each side. Okay. Especially in California soil. So if we come four feet off. Your, your first pipe is going to be right here. Okay. And then your second one is going to be right here. And that's going to give you the, 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 the coverage between the two. But, but I, 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 might, I might put a citrus tree right here. Okay. But then we end up with four feet here, and then this is six feet. So you'll get water here, but you can never get anything out in this part. So... If you're going to want more or less like that, I would probably recommend three and an equal amount between here. So that way it gives you full coverage all the way across. Instead of, four, instead of eight feet on center, it's going to be more like six feet on center. And I guess the, the added cost there is just the cost of the pipe? The aquifer yeah. pipe? Yeah, just the extra cost of the aquifer pipe. Like how, much, how much is going to be one aquifer pipe here? About? Like whatever, what add is it to go from two to three? $36. That's it? Mm -hmm. For one of them? Yeah. $36. Okay. And then, see, um, one fitting, $36. Probably $40. After the fitting and everything else. So then, going three, then it gives me more options, right? Yeah. Three, four, five, three gives you more. Gives you better coverage from this point back here. Now, at some point in the future, you can just go ahead and put one in here, or we can do. So think of your plant. So if you have a plant right here, we 
you can actually move it up a foot. Because the plant's too big, right? It's just how, where are you going to plant your plant? Are you going to plant back here for the whole end of the, right here? That's fine too. Yeah, probably, right? So we can go back to foot, and then I'll take care of that other foot over there. They can only do that. Okay. I like that. Yeah. And that's gonna give when you plant your plants, there's like I said, when you give California natives water, they get big. And you're gonna be happy you're gonna have California natives right through here that's gonna come out. Okay. I think I've asked you this before, but uh you got any customers that go out to the parkway, to the sidewalk? I do. So how would you do that though? Like I'd have to, I'd have to get underneath the sidewalk. Yeah. So what you do is you dig a hole right here, and you dig a hole over here. It's probably come from this side right here, and you, we, we get the the one inch pipe, and you use a it has like a nozzle on it, and you and you push the nozzle and it's pushing the water, so it creates a big mud bath for that one day. But then you get all the way through, and then once you got through, you just cut that nozzle off. Now your pipes are in. And that's your feeder pipe. And that's how you do it. So it's like highly pressurized water? Would like my hose work? Or you it's like your hose, but instead of it's a, it's a brass fitting, it's just uh, something you pick up from the And it's just, think of it as a, you know, when you typically used to wash off your your sidewalk, it's just a, a brass fitting like that. It's probably about five dollars, six dollars. So. And like, what if, so if I don't do that now, is it? Doable later to like mm -hmm. extend that and do that retrofit mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's yeah. just stick with here then. As I told you last time, uh, you your cost, yeah. yeah, and our project is like as much as I like to think through is sort of that, but like I also want to simplify it so we can just do it. Yeah. So yeah. I want to get the water in, and I got to get everything. I want to get plants in. Stop looking at it like what it looks like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so how do we, uh, so you're going to... So right now I'm going to measure it one more time and then I'm going to just uh, paint a line across it. Okay. That way you know where you, you're going to put your pipes back. Then you're going to come under, you're, you're going to need to go underneath the sidewalk anyways right here. Just lean it in there. And we're going to put the... Are you going to put the stepping stones right here probably? Maybe. To get out of the house? Yeah, or like time. we're thinking maybe across there. We got this landscape architect who owes us some drawings. He was here last week actually. Mm -hmm. So I don't actually, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to connect the valves on this side. Okay. I mean, just the, the aqua pipe. And that your 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 boxes that to, to turn them off and turn off are going to be on this side right here. That way when you put your stepping stones, you kind of have, it'll be covered up. And you don't have to worry about the water giving all the way up. up. Yes, here. Okay. Um, what are the boxes? That's like a that's a little valve. Is the valve between the pipe that comes here and the aquifer pipe? Yeah. So think of the, the aquifer pipe as a is your main line, and then as you're coming down, you're going to either have turn on a valve, let irrigate this one or that one, or you know as you go down back and forth. We can balance it out so it, it kind of just does it automatically. But sometimes you have to fine tune it, turn it up or turn it down. So that will, so this one doesn't always get saturated, and it allows it to slow down. Yes. Yeah. But the pipe extending from my laundry here mm -hmm. is what? It's uh, two inch, or inch and a half ABS. Okay. That's just the second thing. Click on the description below to find out where to buy the products. We also have links to instructions to how to build a great water system. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. We would also love to hear your questions and also share how you prevent climate change. Put those in the comment section as well.